Now there's a nice shot of Royal Caribbean's Radiance of the Seas from Seward, Alaska. I got to Seward by taking a beautiful train ride, the Coastal Classic from Anchorage all the way to Seward where I was going to get on this amazing cruise. If you haven't seen the video of the Alaskan Railroad Coastal Classic trip, check it out. It's an amazing trip that I hope everybody gets a chance to do one day. And in my opinion, the only way anybody should travel from Anchorage to this beautiful cruise port here in Seward. In this video, we're going to be going out of Seward Harbor and about 380 miles along the Gulf of Alaska to the Hubbard Glacier. Now this is uh, currently August 2024 and Royal Caribbean just canceled a bunch of cruises to the glaciers because of significant ice flow. I'm glad I took this cruise in June. Hey look, there's a whale! You just see that spout right there coming up. I didn't even see it when I was taking the video. Only saw it when I started editing. Now something I saw that I don't have in the video is there was a seal playing on that little piece of ice. The Hubbard Glacier is amazing and even though this was a very cloudy day it still was very beautiful. The glacier is huge and located in the St. Elias National Park in eastern Alaska and also in the Kwain National Park in Yukon, Canada. And it was named after Gardner Hubbard, a Massachusetts Supreme Court Justice and founder and first president of the National Geographic Society. The glacier is about 76 miles long and since it's so long the ice at the foot of the glacier which has been pushed towards the sea is estimated to be about 400 years old and unlike most other glaciers in the world the Hubbard glacier is actually getting bigger every year it's hard to appreciate the beautiful colors on this cloudy day I was here before on a Norwegian cruise line ship back in May of 2022 and it was a beautiful sunny day and the colors were amazing it's hard to see how tall the head of the ice is there, but you can compare it to the little ship that's in the screen to the right. Most of the ice is below the water. And I've read in total that some of that ice is 100 feet tall. Now I couldn't hear any of this on this trip, but when I was stationed in Greenland back in the late 1980s, I was real close to a glacier and you can always hear the ice calving off of the glacier and crashing down into the ocean. It sounds like thunder and a lot of time the iceberg when it hits the water shoots back up into the surface. And that's just one of the reasons why the big ships like Radiance of the Seas and Bigger can't get too close to the glacier. But these smaller boats on the excursions can. But as usual I booked this cruise on last minute so all these beautiful excursions were sold out. Look what I missed out on. Wow. I only wish I could have got close enough to that glacier to take these pictures myself. And the mountain ranges, most of what you see will be of the order of, of four to 6,000 feet above sea level. And I hate to tell you this, but in Ketchikan it rains like 250 inches a year. So it's, there's a, a lot of moisture there. Uh, but we're going to also, before that, we'll stop in Skagway, which is further inland. And Skagway also gets a lot of precipitation. Fortunately, Royal Caribbean was kind enough to have a very experienced sailor tell us all about the glacier and the glaciers all around Alaska. Not as nice as going on that excursion, but it was a cool touch. Now, I didn't catch the price of the excursion on this trip, but back in 2022, it was about $300 per adult and about $200 per child. Now, whatever the price of that excursion was, I'd say it's worth it. You just can't see and appreciate the amazing colors, the booming sounds, and the sheer beauty and size of the glacier from the deck of the cruise ship. They just can't get that close. I love the Hubbard Glacier and I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining and informative. Now I gotta get back on the ship and enjoy the rest of the cruise. Stay tuned, I got more videos coming your way. See you next time.